Hello, it's uh, Tazan back again. Um, unfortunately, I, I found a bug in this game that I absolutely knew absolutely nothing about, and uh, I'll try and explain. So here we go. What I actually decided to do was, uh, I thought I'd, I'd play the game through like I used to when I was younger and actually complete the game, and that was going to be my task. I uh, normally sort of worked in a clockwork, clockwork uh, way, sort of going clockwork, clockwise around the map. I actually never had a map but back in those days, and I was just looking at the map and I thought, mm, I'll go anti-clockwise for once, so I decided to go anti-clockwise. And I'll actually show you some footage in a bit of, of what actually happened, but to cut a long story short, what happened was, obviously when it was made on the Spectrum, it was ported over to the Amstrad. Now, this is something that I didn't actually know. The Amstrad version is in mode 0, which is uh, 1600, uh, sorry, 160 by 200 pixels with 16 colours. Now the original Spectrum version is 256 by 192 resolution, which with fewer colours. Now what seems to have happened is, is the screen ratio is different. I think it's something like a 4 to 3 on the Spectrum, and it's a 4 to 5 on the Amstrad. And what that basically means is, it's because they haven't bothered to play test it, because they obviously haven't. There are certain areas now that you can't reach. It's absolutely impossible to complete this game. So I wanted to put that out first so nobody goes through all the mire of trying to complete. Okay, as you can see, uh, I started the game because I was, was going to go and go for a complete. And um, saving as I was going along. And I'm just going to show you what the problem is now with the game. I'll just have to clear these before. Looks like a flying fish of some sort. I have to say, I really do think the programmer was on drugs now, because if he couldn't be asked to play test it, there's something seriously wrong. Oh dear. Such a shame, because it really is a great game, and it just hasn't been bothered. Just couldn't be bothered to play test it. Absolutely unforgivable. Now the reason I uh, actually decided to go this way, because I saw this big uh, triangle, which you'll see in a minute, and I thought, hmm, what's that, which you can see now, and uh, this is where you're going to have to actually go around the other way. You're actually going to see what the actual problem of the game is now. Notice that my breathing sounds very heavy on this. <laughs> oh, nearly died. Okay, the trouble is. As you can see, I was trying to get the big picture all together and go through the game, but 
you can, as you can see now, that's impossible because you cannot get onto this ledge and I expect there are probably other parts in the game that are very similar. And that's obviously got to do with the ratio thing. And no matter what you do, you cannot get up there. So, do not waste your time, people. I have actually found out the Spectrum version's fine, except the sound's not very good. It's a bit harder, apparently, as well. Um, so, just to sum up, um, it should have been a fantastic game. It is, it is a really good game, but flawed. Flawed down to a programmer who cannot be asked to test his own game. To me, that's unforgivable, so obviously I'll have to change my mark. What should have been a good 7 out of 10 is now a 0 for me, because if you can't even be asked to make sure a game's right before it even goes out, you you deserve the the flack for it. And Paul Hutchinson, you have made a boo-boo. A boo-boo. The only thing I hope is, is that your other games aren't as flawed as this one. And if you actually see this video, I hope you're ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Maybe a bit harsh, but if you take someone's money, make sure you do a proper job, Paul, in future. Thanks very much for watching, and ta-ta. Bye-bye.